Seems like every day there's some new Rise of the Skywalker stuff that comes out. A little recap before we get into this. You already know what the title topic is because you read the title. But for the past two months now, uh, there's been some good leaks that have come out. Uh, most of them have come from Overlord DVD, Mr. Doomcock, Victor Van Doomcock. And he says there's been a lot of reshoots for this movie. They seem to have no idea what they're doing. And there's like three different cuts. There is a an Abrams cut, a Kennedy cut, a Kennedy Iger cut, and a Lucas cut. Because apparently they brought George Lucas in. And the more things that come out about this movie seem to confirm that he's probably right. And it's been really funny to watch people come out and come come after him. One guy came out and said, "Sources, my sources say that his sources are lying. And it's like, so, we're talking sources. I saw uh, Geeks and Gamers did a funny video. I liked his thumbnails. He took the aliens guy and, and had him say sources. I thought that was really funny. But regardless, uh, it sounds like this movie is a complete mess. And they're still working on it right now when the movie's going to be out in less than a month. The movie comes out December 19th. We're right on the cusp of it. And one really good point that a lot of people make about the fact that uh, Doomcock is probably correct is the fact that the trailers don't tell you anything. Have you seen both the trailers for Rise of the Skywalker? Because they don't tell you much. It's like, oh, shiny fight. Oh, big battle here. There's not really anything revealed there. Usually we get some kind of reveal to this, what the story might hold. With those trailers, we get nothing, which kind of lays some credibility to what he's saying to me. And now, J.J. Abrams himself, the laughing man, has come out and confirmed they're still working on the movie. Also, take a moment, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that, and subscribe if you're new. So Bonding in the Comics doing a fine job as always. The link for this will be in the description. But J.J. Abrams confirms Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker not finished. So much is still being worked on. So there you go. Uh, the man himself did an interview with Entertainment Weekly saying, we always knew we were going to have three fewer months to post-production this film. He then adds, so much is still being worked on. It's literally a practical race to get it finished. However, Abrams revealed he's feeling infinitely better about where The Rise of Skywalker is compared to The Force Awakens, another movie that didn't stand very well with the test of time. Uh, that movie did not age very well, in my opinion. He goes on to detail that he had more reshoots and more story adjustments for The Force Awakens than The Rise of Skywalker. We had more reshoots on Episode 6 than this one. We had more story adjustments on 6 than this one. We didn't know if the characters would work, if the actors would be able to carry a Star Wars movie. There were a lot of things we didn't know. On this, we knew who and what worked, and everyone is doing the best work I've ever seen anyone do. It's funny. We knew who and what worked. Is that why Rose Tico is uh, barely in the movie and on the merchandise? <laughs> also, how many reshoots did Force Awakens have compared to, you know, Rise of the Skywalker? Number two point, uh, Force Awakens reshoots probably didn't happen three months. <laughs> or actually, let me take that back. One month before the movie was due to release. Like, this does not sound good. The fact that they're still, and they're admittedly still working on it like they are, is not a good sign. I think this pretty much confirms a lot of the stuff that Doomcock's been saying. And I think it's really bad that they're still working on this movie to the extent that they are right now. It does not send a good message. They don't have any faith in it. And in fact, I just watched a clownfish video talking about how people walked out of the test screens. That's really, really bad. That's terrible. So you just had another test screening and people are walking out on it because it's that bad. This movie is going to be a trash fire. So, so here's some interesting stuff. The Mandalorian, right, has, I believe, eight chapters. Chapter seven premieres like a couple of days or the day before Rise of the Skywalker launches and then chapter eight the final chapter comes out i think the next week after the movie comes out i think it's intentional that they're doing that 
because what will happen here, let's say that this, and I think that this series is going to be awesome, right? The ending of that series could overtake talk to Rise of the Skywalker and maybe drown out bad press. That's just a theory. Also, keep in mind that Fallen Order is a good game, and then you have a good TV series. It can kind of mask a bad movie. So if this movie fails, the fact that, you know, Mandalorian and Jedi Fallen Order are good and have good conversations going on, and the Mandalorian conversation is still going to be going on when this movie comes out because it ends the next week. So that might take some of that bad press away, which is a very intentional move on their part. So we'll see. But we got lots of confirmation here from J.J. Abrams himself that the movie is still being messed with, which brings confirmation to the things that Doomcock is saying. I think that this movie is a, going to be a huge, huge mess. And it's funny to see Abrams come out. This is like the worst thing he could have done is come out and say, yeah, 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 we're... We're still doing post-production. We're still doing reshoots and all this stuff. And it's it's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. So, I don't know. I think this movie's going to be a trash fire. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Do you think uh, that this movie is going to be a complete bomb? Uh, give me your thoughts. Are you looking forward to it? Do you think it's still going to be good? Do you think The Mandalorian might save it when it comes to bad press? Give me your thoughts. Uh, also, throw a like up. Remember, engagement, comments, and likes. Best thing you can do to help a channel. So consider leaving me some thoughts and your likes and share the video. Also important to do, share your favorite content creators videos, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure you're still subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. How dare you?